Hello, true art believers. Welcome to another art vlog. How are you doing? I am doing well. It is a Friday night. It is late. It is roughly 11 o'clock. And here I am uh, doing a late night vlog. Um, and so what I want to talk about today is some of the things that I do uh, to kind of be more efficient or kind of hold myself more accountable to everything in life, like some of the things that I try to do every day. And, and one of those things I, I try to hold, hold myself accountable to is, is drawing every day. And one of the ways that I, that I have been able to kind of psych myself into drawing every day is setting up a, a stop. And what a stop is, is a standard operating procedure. And it's basically my daily to-do list that I have that I work on every day. And I'm not going to lie, um, mo for the most part, I've been only doing about 75% of it, which is why you haven't been seeing me doing these videos every day. I look at my stop and on my stop it writes, it says, do a YouTube video. And every day I've been like, no, not going to do it. And I've been trying to hold myself more accountable to those, those like personal goals. Um, I know it's very hard to do it. I really do. Like, I really understand this idea of not wanting, wanting to do that thing, you know, because there's days that you just don't want to do things. Like there's a lot of days, like I'm astounded at how many days out of the week that I don't want to draw. It's about 80% of the time, like 80% of the time, I just don't feel like drawing. And then 20% of the time, 20% of the time, like, you know what? I feel kind of like drawing. And you know what? That kind of checks out because I remember when I was a kid, I was a kid, I would only draw when I felt liked it, like it. You know, I wasn't like one of those kids that were just like unnaturally driven to draw every day or they just practiced every day. I just didn't feel like it. You know, I liked drawing, but I wanted it, I wanted to it to be an experience. I wanted to have a little bit of enjoyment. Um, I remember as a kid, though, sometimes drawing was very, like, emotionally, like, straining. Like, it was very, it made me angry, you know? Because you would see other people in magazines and comic books, artists that you'd see in books or, and stuff like that, and you would compare yourself and you'd get upset. And that's what I would, that's what I would do, is I would get upset because I would compare myself to the professionals. And I was like, I can't measure up to these individuals. So I would get frustrated and then I would stop drawing. Um, I remember as a kid, that's what I would do. It's like, I would only draw when I felt like it. And I think that's about right for a lot of people. Or, you know, some people draw because they're unnaturally good at it. Or some people play sports because they're unnaturally good at it, you know? It's like a strong man or a bodybuilder where they they lift weights because they're able to build muscle really quickly. And, you know, um it's it's a it's an odd it's an odd situation where I wasn't really fantastic at at art, at drawing. I was mediocre, average at best, but I enjoyed it. Um, and there was people that were much better at me. And of course that made it, uh, less enjoyable because, you know, as you're a kid, you see other people doing stuff that are, and they're better than you. And in that environment, you have adults who see you drawing and see another person drawing and they encourage the person who is good. And then they don't really give you the light of day, uh, because you're not as good. And they just cough it up to, oh, you're not born with it and you're not good enough. So you're never going to be able to be uh, good at said thing. And that was like, I think that was like the mentality back in the day. They, they, they just thought people were just unnaturally good at things. 
And they didn't credit the hours and hours and hours of work that was required to do that. This is bad, by the way. It's probably because it's late at night and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, running on E. But anyways, I have a standard operating procedure that I try to do every day. And I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier. I only accomplish about 80% of it. I do about 80% of what I try to set out, I set out for the day. And it, it's been kind of uh, um, dawning on me or kind of like a uh, creating like some pressure on me mentally where I've been, I've been kind of like not happy with not accomplishing the full 100% of what I set out to do for that day. And one of those things that I try to include in my stop or my standard operating procedure is let's get some drawing in. Uh, that can be either through creating a little vlog or just drawing for drawing's sake. It can be a good drawing. It can be bad drawing. But I've been falling short of that lately I've been trying to hold myself more more accountable to it and trying to separate myself from the emotion. Um, people often mistake art as this like this purely emotional, purely like like it's hard to explain like it's it's more emotional, more there's more emotion and and, and feeling to it than than thinking. Um, and that's not the case. There's a lot of thinking going on in, in creating artwork um, and a lot of problem solving going on, more so than people think. And um, it can be a mentally fatiguing activity, especially if you're doing it for extended period of time especially when you're doing a lot of visual observation where you're trying to take information and um, turn it into a, take information into and render it into a, an object. Um, but as I said, I have a stop standard operating procedure and I've been kind of falling short with it. If you're wondering why I'm kind of talking like in this weird robotic type of way, it's just I had like, I've tried to make this video like six times now and I've been falling short, man. Like there was this weird expectation. Like I'm going to, I'm just going to crush this video the first time. I'm not going to make any mistakes. And like the first words I, I was, I said were like, bleep, 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 bleep. And I was like, oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? And I was like, I'm thinking to myself, why am I so nervous? This is, this is nothing new for me. This is not a new occurrence for me. Um, so why am I struggling? What, what is causing the point of friction for me? But um, I don't know. And so here I am trying to draw, trying to draw. Uh, I guess I'm trying to draw. That's what's happening. I think I'm drawing. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of talk about how I have a standard operating procedure, which is basically just a, it's a glorified checklist. It's a glorified checklist. It's basically a to-do list that I do every day. You know, it's, I don't know if any of you had like certain, if, if any of you had any jobs where you have to do a certain set of things before the day starts or a certain set of things be when you close down shop. You know, it's the same thing. I just like turn on the lights, check, do this, check, do this, check, make sure your inventory is full, check, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing. And that's all I have. That's all I've been doing. That's what I have set out for myself is a standard operating procedure where I just do the thing. And it's, it, it's helpful. Um, it can be a little bit constrictive, but um, I think the benefits outweigh the, the like bottleneck, the, the point where you, you, you feel like you're forcing yourself to draw or forcing yourself to do a thing that you don't necessarily want to do. It's like everyday life, man. Like you, it's like you go to, you go to, you have to do chores every day. You know, it's, you don't want to do the chores, but if you don't do the chores, your, your, your dishes will, 
dishes will back up. You don't do the chores. You're you'll have no clean laundry to to uh, wear. You won't have any. Won't any, you won't have any clean pair of underwear, or won't have any clean pair of shorts or jeans. Uh, you won't have anything of those things because you ha you just decide that you don't want to do them. And this this is how it is, man. You just have to do the things that you don't want to do every day. And so I have a stop uh, so that I can at least do something. I mean, because I love drawing. Um, but like, I, I really do love drawing. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I just don't like the times that I have to do it at. That's all I have to do. I always talk about this. I just don't like I don't like the times I, I have. To, I just don't like the time I do it. Like, I wish I, I had the time to do it from like noon to two. That would be great. Um, or maybe like 10 to 12. If I that would be like a good time. But all the but everything else, I, I just don't have the time to do it 10 to 12. I don't have the time to do it 12 to 2. So here I am doing it like midnight. Hurrah. Um, so here I am doing it late at night. And it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And it, it could be worse. It could be worse. Um, lately, I have been listening to a lot of David Goggins. I've been listening to him like crazy. And I've been thinking... Heck, if if you have not even, it doesn't even have to be David Goggins. The stories he talks about is people that are running a hundred miles, two hundred miles, and they're doing it in like they're like a hundred hours or something like that. Something ridiculous, some ridiculous amount of running. And I'm thinking to myself, here I am complaining about uh, drawing for thirty minutes to an hour late at night when I really want to go to bed. Like I'm complaining about like oh it's so hard. And here you have people like their 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 body is going into shock because they've run two hundred plus miles and their muscles are eating each other apart and they're they're literally peeing blood because they they're uh, going into some weird meta metabolic syndrome I don't even know and here I am complaining like oh man I gotta I gotta draw it late at night so late when I'm really really tired. And I, honestly, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm nowhere near as tired as the, those individuals, right? I'm just, I'm tired, right? But I'm not running 100 miles tired. Um, that's what it's like. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting my body into like shock over drawing. It's not like that. So I just kind of have to say, I gotta, I guess that's kind of say like, listen, this, this drawing late at night, even though it's a mild inconvenience, right? It's a mild inconvenience. It's still better than nothing. And it's still at least putting me in the right direction. It's put me in a direction of at least, at least set myself up to, um, growing as an artist. And it might not be in, in, in the direction that I want it to be. And I might not notice the growth. I might not notice the growth. It will probably creep up on me. And that's usually how it is for me. It's like, I'll I like all the drawings just start compounding and I just like all of a sudden things get better and better. And I just don't know it. Like there'll be bouts where I'm feeling like I'm doing terrible work and there'll be bouts where I feel like I'm doing great work. But, uh, oftentimes I don't notice the growth and I like that. I like the fact that I don't notice it. Um, it's kind of therapeutic. It used to be, I used to be like, uh, when I was younger, I used to be like, I'm not getting, I'm not I'm not improving fast enough. I'm not getting better fast enough, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm like, uh, if, if I, if I get a little bit better, if I get like 0.1% better in something, or if, if I get 1.1% better, or if I stay, if I stay the same, I think that's a win. Um, the goal is to, to grow a little bit and improve and all that kind of stuff. But if I don't improve the first, that this from this drawing, that's okay too. Um, because sometimes that's how it is. Like we can't just always expect like this exponential growth. You know, sometimes there's a little, a little bit of stagnation. And I think one of the reasons why I had that standard operating procedure is to just kind of keep, keep the, the, the furnace going to kind of keep the, the, the drawing engine going and keep it idling so that when, there is a big jump in growth. The engine's still there; it's still running, and I'm able. I'm able to go like a hundred miles an hour, but um, it doesn't mean that's inconven not inconvenient. Like I, 
I'm 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 drawing late at night, but you know what? I have to I have to have a little bit of humility, a little bit of grace, because if 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 my main complaint in life right now is, oh, I gotta draw really late at night, you know? Oh, what a burden! What a terrible burden that a burden that I have to live with is I have to draw late at night. It's the worst. Oh, I'm only a little. I'm only. I'm like a little bit tired. Oh my gosh, you know uh, there could be worse things out there that I have to deal with, and I I can say that I'm I am blessed in that regard, right? Um, so um, there could be worse things out there than oh I have to draw when it should be when I should be sleeping essentially, you know. Um, and I like this quote from Chuck Close. For those that don't know it, Chuck Close is uh, a world-renowned painter. Uh, recently passed away, um, known for his portrait work. Uh, and he made a quote saying, listen, inspiration is for amateurs. The, prof- uh, the rest of us get to work. And really that what it means is there's going to be days, and for me, a lot of days apparently, that you're not going to want to do the things that your passion. You know, uh, I think... I think a lot like you have all these movies that kind of romanticize this idea of like art and music and poetry and writing. Like they just have this drive to do it. And, um, and I don't know if that's truly the case there. I I think there are some people that are just like driven to do it. Um, and I will have to say that I'm a little bit jealous of those individuals. Uh, but I, I think I'm more in the, in the, in the group that you have to, I have to like force myself to do things, you know, cause it's like human nature. Like if you can get away with not doing things, you won't do those things. Right. So that's why I have that stop, uh, list to kind of like hold myself more accountable is like, because otherwise if I don't have a list saying for me, telling me to do, uh, to draw for the day or to do this, I'm going to be like, you know what? That bed. That bed looks so good right now. It looks so comfy. Oh, the bed. And you got a blanket and you got your PJs on. Oh my gosh. That bed is, it's a, it's a throne. It's so comfy. It's like a pillow. It's like sleeping on a cloud. I'm sleeping on a cloud, you know, right? It looks so appealing. It's so appealing. Um, and yeah, so it's so appealing. Gosh, I'm now I'm drawing. I'm 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 getting a brain fart. Um, yeah, it's so appealing, and I could I could make ex- a gazillion excuses as to why I should go over there and just fall asleep. Like it's so easy to do that. It's the easy easy thing. But you know, oftentimes, man, I hate to say it, I really do. I really do. I really do. I really do. Like I'm all. I almost almost makes me want to cry. How like. I have to say this. I hate to say it. Man, sometimes you got to do the hard things, man. I've been talking about this a lot with 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 uh friends and family. Like sometimes you just got to do the hard thing. Hard thing so that you feel better about yourself. Like there's all like you got to do the hard things. And sometimes the hard things are the things that you love to, doing the most and hard, hard things first. Then you can do the easy things, fun things later. Uh, unfortunately I don't really have a lot of fun things outside of this, but like, as I said, if, if the, if the hardest thing I have to do, uh, in a day are the thing that causes me the most friction or the most anxiety or the stress is drawing late at night. I think I'm doing pretty good, you know? I'm not necessarily worrying about where's my next where's my next meal coming from, you know, where where that's at. So I I I guess I'm I'm I could I just got to have like a a dash of perspective, a dash of humility, right? And just understand that things could be a lot worse, man. They could be a lot worse. So, long story short, if you have trouble doing things, you know, doing things that you love, doing things that you hate, you know, put it on a list and, and, and make sure you do that thing 
every time you put it on a list. You know, you need to go to the gym. You want to get you want to you want to get some big muscles. Put that put that bad boy on the, on on a list on the calendar or somewhere. Uh, there's some science behind it for some, for some odd reason. Um, if you write down things that you're gonna do, you apparently have a higher uh, like you have a higher percentage that you're gonna a higher rate of a uh, higher success rate or a higher percentage that you're gonna actually do that than if you're just gonna say that you do it. It's I don't know why that is. It has I think it has to do with like if you just write it down um, somehow in your mind's eye that that means you're like com committing to it to some degree, you know. But if you were to just say, I'm going to draw every day, I'm going to do a daily vlog, I'm going to get in shape, blah, 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 right? That that might not work. So um, you might have to write that stuff down, man. You just might have to. And as I said, man, hard, hard stuff, man. Hard stuff, even stuff like, like th to me right now, drawing feels really hard. Like it just feels like a difficult thing, but it's not, it's not, man. I'm just moving my pen around on this piece of paper and, and maybe it turns out good. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's not a hard thing, you know, um, and of course, of course, man, we could have, I could be struggling about other things, but anyways, I think I'm about done with this drawing. I think I've kind of added more value in certain areas. Maybe, maybe I'll just do some right here. Let's add a little bit of value right here. Uh, stuff like that. Um, wow. You know, actually, honestly, this video turned out a little bit better or this, this, the, the dialogue turned out a little bit better, a, a little bit better than I expected because at the very beginning, we were like, we were struggling for a minute. We were struggling for a minute. And that's usually what happens with me is I have to like, I have to like, I have to get a little bit of momentum going um, in my, in my, in my video or in my speech or what I'm talking about in order to like articulate the ideas a little bit more cohesively, a little bit more concise. Um because sometimes it like it just does. I don't. I, I can't explain it. Like I have to like I have to stutter and fumble through a lot of words before I actually come to something that that feels like Mwah, you know, uh, or at least that's what I think. Maybe maybe I just have a bunch of like just verbal diarrhea. I don't know. Uh, anyways, I gotta get going. Don't forget to. I don't 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 forget to to uh, write down things that you. Um, seek to accomplish. Apparently, you will uh, have a higher chance of doing that, doing that thing. Anyways, hope you have a wonderful night. Cheers. You all rock.